Hello. The purpose of this session is to go through uh, some of the uh, screen layouts um, inherent in version 4 of Vicinity. In version 4, we have um, adopted a uh, ribbon bar uh, methodology to our layout uh, that is going to be consistent with uh, the office suites of products from Microsoft as well as other uh, software applications you'll see out of the market. Uh, in, in that ribbon bar will be dynamic um, actions that the user can select. So in other words, uh, depending on what screen you're, you have open will determine uh, what actions are available. In this case, uh, we're on the component entry screen, so one of the pieces that we've got, of course, would be uh, uh, creating a new component, saving, um, uh, reading um, components from the ERP system, uh, say from Microsoft Dynamics, uh, that are in Dynamics that aren't in vicinity, uh, so you don't have to worry about uh, when I set up an item in Dynamics, having to go and uh, remember which item it is and bring it into vicinity. You could just do a, a lookup and it will bring up all items that are in Dynamics that aren't already uh, in vicinity. Uh, things like copy and delete and uh, other functionality depending on the screen. Uh, we're also introducing uh, workflow capability in version 4, uh, and so this area under workflow would uh, tell the user uh, that this item, in this case a component, is in a workflow and it will control certain business elements. Uh, there will be another demo specifically on workflow. Uh, the other thing uh, really to note in uh, Vicinity 4 is we've gone from a tab metaphor to a collapsible section. Uh, so now um, if you want uh, to get to uh, certain sub information, you can uh, do so by clicking the, uh, the down arrow on the section and it would bring up that data. Uh, what's nice about that is you could actually have multiple sections open simultaneously um, and be able to see uh, different uh, pieces or components. Like I could have the main as well as quality open simultaneously and I'd be able to see that. Uh, all of these settings that I'm talking about, in other words, uh, whether the section is open or closed or expanded or, or minimized, uh, would save by user. So the next time I open the component entry screen, uh, this section would be minimized or would be expanded as we're seeing uh, right now. Um, something we're really excited about throughout the system is an expanded uh, field level search. And what I mean by that is I'm going to open up the subcomponents uh, section, which is where we define the facility. Let me bring up an item first. Um, um, where we can define the uh, the formula, but also the packaging. Uh, so let's say for uh, right now, uh, if I, I could do a lookup like I'm used to, but I could also type in part of either the item number or the description. So for example, let's say that I want to search for all my lids in my formula. I'll just type in uh, all my lids in my component screen. I'll just type in lid, I hit the tab key, and it brings up all items that uh, meet that criteria. Um, from there, I can actually go and pick up uh, the appropriate appropriate item um, and it brings it up. Um, so it's a nice neat new lookup that will be that is available in all lookups throughout the system um, and um, will be available for you day one. Uh, in addition uh, to kind of lookups, we've also uh, expanded our capability um, uh, in our grid control. So in this case, I just opened up the quality section. Here are four QC tests that have been defined against this finished good. So here, after packaging, I run these QC tests, and these may go on a C of A as an example. Uh, one of the things we added in version 4 is the ability to grab a record. Um, in this case, I'll go ahead and grab my APC test uh, and, and drag it, and I can actually drag and drop and put it in, in any specific order that I'm interested in, in, uh, in, in saving. Um, so this gives me that capability of ordering my QC tests, but this is also uh, available in formula entry to move operations around, uh, etc. Any place you see a grid like this where order is important, uh, we would be able to drag and drop accordingly. So as you can see, we've been very busy with version 4, uh, uh, adopting the ribbon bar as well as some workflow capability, um, gone to collapsible menus. Um, that will actually allow us to go to a browser-based client uh, much, much easier than a bunch of, of, of tabs. Um, we've also added um, that uh, uh, field-level uh, search throughout the system, and then also drag-and-drop capability uh, in, in grid controls.